Hi guys, it's late July and it's hot. I finally got my walls and ceiling insulated last night. So I have some AC on this morning. I just put a, uh, a heat pump in a double wide. It was a new double wide, but it only came with the electric furnace. And of course, saving money, I guess, they only run four wires from the thermostat to the furnace. And the thermostat is mounted uh, way across the home in a, a hallway wall, the back side of which is the bathroom. It's that common wall in the middle and it's full of stuff, pipes, uh, looks like other wires. So rather than try to uh, fish a new wire down through the wall, I'm going to uh, try to get by with the four wires and use this Honeywell T6 thermostat. This is the new thermostat Honeywell's kind of going to. They're getting away from the uh, uh, the old 3,000, 5,000 line. I'm gonna go to something like this. Uh, this is a basically an add wire module that works with the Honeywell thermostats. The important part of this is that K terminal. See here on the thermostat back plate, you also have a K terminal. And what I've got hooked to this thermostat is four wires, which is uh, what's going on at the uh, the existing location my concern is does this module need a c wire going to the thermostat in order to trigger this k to work properly because i only have four wires to work with uh, so i need i need to get by without a common if at all possible in this application so what i'm going to do is hook this thing up uh, on some contactors and we will see if it will work without the c wire between the module in the thermostat. Um, the way this thing will work back at the furnace or, or electric furnace, I'll mount this little module and I'll take the existing four wires that's coming from the thermostat and hook in uh, three of them to the top of this. One of them will go straight through to the reversing valve, let's say. And then I'll take the um, five wires that would normally be going to the thermostat and hook them into this module. Uh, I'll get it all laid out here on the table and it'll make more sense. Okay, we got it set up here where we can try it out. Got a just a 24 volt transformer, 120 to 24 volts plugged in over there. Um, the red comes off the transformer and goes to the module here, in which the module will then take it to the thermostat and send it out to all these different contactors. I have uh, four contactors here. I pulled the caps off so we could see when they were pulled in. I don't have any light bulbs or anything I could use. But I got my uh, compressor, my reversing valve, my electric heat, and my fan all labeled out there. I have my four wires that's existing in that mobile home. Uh, we saw where they were connected on the thermostat here. I've got it connected to the R, the K, the, um, uh, uh, what they call auxiliary heat terminal, and also the uh, reversing valve terminal. Uh, the reversing valve terminal it's not going through the module, it's just coming straight uh, past the module and hooked to the reversing valve contactor, if you will. The I'm not using the common terminal on this guy right now. Again, I want to make sure that'll work because it doesn't do me any good to need five wires instead of six. Uh, I need to be able to use this with four wires. So right now we're not pulling any amps on the red wire. I'm going to, let's just try the fan first. There's the fan to the on position. And you can see the fan pulled down. The others are not pulled down right now. So right now we just have a fan. Turn the fan off. Go back to auto. And after the delay, it should drop the fan contactor back out. There we go. So we know fan works this way, so that's promising uh, because the fan is being ran by that K terminal. Uh, I don't have the actual G hooked up on this thermostat. It's actually only the K. So let's go to emergency heat. That's the next simplest thing. Emergency heat should pull in the fan and the W contactor. Uh, so the fan did pull in. W pulled in, reversing valve is not, 
and the compressor is not. So right now we have emergency heat working fine. Uh, let's go to regular heat. I got it turned up to 87. So what regular heat should do is it'll should drop out some of these guys. Okay, we dropped out the W come out. The G is still pulled in. The reversing valve is not pulled in, but the compressor terminal is pulled in. And that would be right. I've actually got this thing wired up for a, a, a ICP product, which has a, a, a energized and cool reversing valve, which would normally be an orange wire. I just use blue because that's what I'm gonna have uh, at the uh, home. So we know we've got, I guess if I leave, left this on long enough, it would eventually pull auxiliary in based on the thermostat, you know, having to run so long before it pulled in the uh, auxiliary. But what I'm gonna do is switch it to cool got it set on 68 so what we're missing right now is a reversing valve terminal and there it came so right now on cool we have the reversing valve is energized the compressor is energized the fan is energized and of course the electric heat is not and you can see we're pulling 0.58 amps on the three contactors we've got pulled in so Looks like this is going to work fine without that common wire from the module to the thermostat. The only downside to this setup is they will have to use batteries in the thermostat, but uh, double, double A batteries aren't that expensive and the thing will tell you when they get low. So I'm actually real excited about this. Uh, these little modules, uh, you're going to pay probably between 10 and 20 bucks for one depending on where you buy it. So. Uh, they're definitely worthwhile. I have used one of these in order to add a common for one of Honeywell's new um, T6 Wi-Fi thermostats and it worked for that but what I wasn't sure about is you know could I use this module in that thermostat without connecting them with a common and apparently the answer is yes. I hope this will be helpful. I looked and looked on the internet trying to find a link that told me whether or not you could use it without a common wire but i could not find it so just set up a uh, simulation and try it out thanks for watching